All right, thanks, Michael. This weekend, there's going to be a free show in the sky. We're talking about a solar eclipse is happening in just a few days on Saturday. And if we remember anything from seventh grade science, it's do not look directly at the sun, especially during an eclipse. We have got Sari Custer. She is chief of science and curiosity down at the Arizona Science Center. Welcome right. to the uh, 3 p.m. newscast here in Arizona's family. And you've brought props. I love it. I bring props. I brought the sun. All right, so you've got the sun. I've got the sun over here. You've got the earth. I do. Tell us what a solar eclipse is for those that don't know at home. All right, for those at home, and you can even use these props, whatever, you've got a couple of balls is all you need. Great all for you kids, need. by the way. Great for kids. Um, so actually, we're going to have to get a little bit closer here. Okay. But you are the sun, and you've got a light source there. Yep. I am the earth here, and the moon goes around the earth. Now, yep. a couple times a year, the actual the moon is in the right place where it casts a shadow on the Earth, and you hopefully can see that at home, um, and you can play that with that at home too. And that's what we're going to see is that m the moon blocking out the light from the sun. Right. And now that's generally what we would call an eclipse. This one's an annular eclipse, which means the moon is just a little bit further away from the Earth, right. and we're going to see that ring of fire around. The, uh, around the uh, sun when you look at it. It's phenomenal, phenomenal. But again, do not look at it with your eyes. We're going to tell you exactly how you can look at it safely and, and throughout this eclipse. Again, it's an annular eclipse because remember the moon's orbit around the Earth is elliptical. It's kind of egg shaped. So at one point it's close to the Earth and at the other point it's farthest away. And I love these two words. Apogee and perigee. Ooh, we got big science words yes, there too. Because <laughs> I, I used to watch the Apollo moon missions and they had to launch when we were at perigee when the moon was closest to us to save time getting to, to Earth. So this is when it's at apogee, which is farthest away. Farthest That's why away. we see the ring, correct? That's why you see the ring. It's a awesome. little bit further away, so we get a little bit of that sun, and that's why it's going to be really, really important for this particular eclipse right. to protect your eyes. Don't look directly at it. Here in Phoenix, we're going to see about 80% coverage, right. so we have to make sure. You can pick these right. up right yeah, here yeah. at our event out. at the Science Center. This Saturday, we'll have free glasses available. It's a free-to-the-public event, um, so for the first roughly 5,000 folks, we'll have glasses. Oh for safe solar viewing. I've, I've lost 20 years. Yeah, <laughs> you can't see anything up there, right? Um, you want to make sure, too, if you've got glasses at home, that you're looking really closely at them, and they have this ISO 12312-2 number right. that says that they're really, really safe. And if you don't have them, yes, you can come down to the Science Center and buy a pair if you don't have them. You can get them for free at our event, or you can make a solar viewer at home. And this is really simple. If you've got a box of cereal at home, maybe a shoe box, or... If you're my kids, fruit gummies, this is super simple to do. Super, super easy. So you just take the top off. You cut, yep. uh, you can see here where you've got two holes cut into it at the top. You cover one end in foil, prick it with a pinhole, and then you're going to end up putting the sun behind you. So back yep. to the sun. You never look at it. You want the sun to go down into the pinhole, and you'll be able like to that. see a reflection of the sun. Yep, in the bottom so, when yeah. you look inside the box. So again, for you at home, do not look at the sun. Do, do not, not look, look at, at the, the sun. sun. It sun it at your back, and then it shines right into your box, and you're yep. able to see it throughout the uh, path of the, uh, of, of the sun. Yes, you'll be able to watch it right inside there. It's almost like a little movie viewer where you can see it going across. We were testing it today. Wow. You can test that it works with uh, lights at home. We were able to see all the individual LEDs in the array with the lights at the Science Center today testing all it All right, Sari, we got to wrap up. Once again, give those times that people can come down to our great Science Center downtown. It's such a great resource here in the Valley of the Sun. Thank you for the event this weekend. We want to make sure people are there for the event that starts at 8 o'clock, so right. Uh, right after 8 o'clock, with that uh, eclipse in full effect by 9.30 there. So uh, you can find all the information online at azscience.org. Nice. nice, and the path of totality up near the Four Corners, just briefly, but it's up near Four Corners. So we are going to be right in the middle of a great free solar party wow. right there. And if you uh, love to, to uh, science like I did as a kid and you want to inspire some kids, bring them down to the Arizona Science Center this Saturday, October 14th. Thanks, Ari. Thank you. Thanks, Zine.